everybody, Backyard Bullion here, back with Mrs. Backyard Bullion. Hello. Busy reading a magazine, not concentrating. Uh, we are <laughs> here. <laughs> well, if you concentrate when we film a video, you won't get embarrassed, will we? Anyway, we are back once again with the fifth instalment now. I think it's the fifth, isn't it? I can't remember. I, I can't remember. I think it's the fifth. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. The fifth instalment of some 90% silver coin hunting. Here's the bag. We've got quite a lot of silver still to get through. It was a 10 kilo bag when we started and we have stacked the deck somewhat. So we're doing some coin hunting of actual 90% silver coins. I've probably said this a number of times in the other videos. We're not sponsored by European Mint to make this video. We bought them from the European Mint because they're cool coins for us to enjoy and best and make wonderful fun videos for all of you guys out there. Yes. Mrs. Backyard Bullion is not here against her will, I promise. She actually wants to do this, <laughs> don't you? Yes. 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 Anyway, let's crack on. Um, so, do you want to do the weighing or shall I? You did it last week. I'm going to do it this week. Okay. Or should we wait? No, you have to make sure you get it exactly 500. Exactly 500. Okay. Well, we're basically going to do a kilo at a time. No, 500 grams. A kilo per episode, 500 oh, right. grams each of these silver coins. And we basically sort through them and have a look for all of the fun coins that are out there. So things like, you can have 501, because if I take one more coin out, it'll be under. See? And then you, the trick is you've got to swap it with... With another slightly... Like, that's enough. These scales are not that accurate. Uh, so our our target here is basically to find all of the cool... Oh, look. Our walker straight off the bat. Things like that. Find walking liberty half dollars to find ideally... Uh, oh, look. Another one. Goodness me. To find cool coins, basically, I can see a couple of walker, or a walker in mine. You'll be very happy, I've just taken out a half dollar <laughs> from my own <laughs> batch. There we go, 500 exactly for me. And uh, we bought this as, basically, it's cheap silver. So, I don't know if the, if the European Mint still has this available, but when we purchased them, it was basically as cheap a silver as you can get for us here in Europe, in the UK. Uh, so, basically, anything that's slightly better than scrap. I've had a really good one. Oh. I've got six. Well, you're welcome. I gave you all of those coins, so enjoy them. Maybe next week you'll have a bad batch. <laughs> but we'll see. So this is all cheap stuff, basically, is what I'm trying to say. And anything that's good that comes out of these uh, batches of coins can theoretically be a bit of a money earner, because if you get you know, some nice walking liberty half dollars, those will go for way more than the scraps. Well, it wasn't really scrap prices, but the, you know, the really cheap price silver that we paid for it. So it's a kind of win-win in that sense. Uh, and who knows, one day I might even look to melt some of these old uh, coins down and make a kind of a silver coin bar, which would be pretty exciting and fun. So there are a number of different varieties that we are looking for. Mrs. Backyard Bullion has already knocked the ball out of the park with some walking liberty half dollars. I seem to have hit the Benji jackpot today because I've got four Benjis. So Benjamin Franklin half dollars. Got a very, very worn walking liberty half dollar. So worn you can't see the date on that at all. Look at the that. walking liberty is better, isn't it? Well, yes, but when it's in this kind of condition, I mean, look at that. <laughs> you can hardly see anything on it. I would argue that this is probably just worth scrap. So whilst it's a cool thing, that is not great. But the, you know, for example, we've got here four Benjis, all in, I would say, pretty good nick, if I'm being honest. They all look very cool. I really do like the Benjis, the Benjamin Franklins. I call them Benjis because that's what uh, Half Dollar Wanna Holler, or Make You Holler, I can't remember the name of their channel, um, but I watch their coin hunting videos, and I like to think that some of these coins that we're here looking at today have passed through their channel and many others as well in the big coin hunt, coin hunting videos that they do. We can't do that here in the UK because silver has been long out of circulation uh, in our currency, but uh, we can at least still have some fun with things like 50p's and of course doing things like this. It's a good way to be able to interact with your silver and investments because so many times you just get you know big bars of silver or coins of silver especially coins, you get the coins of silver and you just leave them in capsules or tubes, you don't see them, touch them, enjoy them, whereas doing something like this is really fun and enjoyable. I find it fun and enjoyable anyway. Do you, Mrs. Backyard Bullion? Of course I do. 
Not duress to say that one bit at all, are you? <laughs> Seriously, we're going to get some people like reporting us that I'd catch you hostage to do coin hunting. This is where perhaps you say oh, that right. you're not. No, I'm no. not. Uh, so anyway, I have hardly any Mercury Dimes in my batch today. You have hardly anything in your batch today. No, it's not gone that well, I have to say. I mean, I'm well. Actually, what I'm going to do is quickly have a look through these quarters because the done. standing, well done. The standing Liberty quarters are another really cool one to find, and the Washington quarters seem to be the most common, and certainly the most common of all of them is the 1964, which is, of course, the last year that they were made as 90% silver. So I don't think I've got any of those. No, no standing Liberties. Never mind. So. Lots of little dimes. These are not anything fun. They're just going to go in the big box. How can you check like box. that? Well, because they've got different sides. So your mercury dimes. Yeah, but you just went. Uh, I know, but I recognise the sides. You didn't really check them. Well, I bet you there's no walk, uh, there's no mercuries in this pile, and if there but is. You don't know that you haven't checked. Well, I have checked because I did the. <laughs> and had a look. You can't possibly check like that. Oh, I have. Look, these are all. I know what they look like, and they're all fine. If you're that worried, you can go through and have a double I'm check. I'm not that worried, but See? isn't the whole point of coin hunting? There we go. Everything is that is... you have to hunt for the coin. But I have hunted. I've looked through it, and there's none. It's, it's these ones look—they look different. You can see they look different, mm -hmm. and I can recognise that they look different. Certainly on the other side too, with the mercury dime head. No. Anyway, should we show the good people your wonderful Walking Liberty half dollars that you so graciously told us that you had right at the start of the video? Thank you very much. So you've got a 1943 and a 1934. That's a good one, but it's quite worn. But still, the older date on it is pretty cool. You've got some. I'll tell you what. Why don't you give me your two Benjis as well, and then we'll do them all in one hand for for everybody to see. Those are good-looking Benjis. Yeah. Which is your favourite of the half dollars? Oh, sorry, I thought that was a question for them. I do apologize. I was looking at the camera when I said that, so there's there's an excuse for Mrs. Backyard-Bullion to not understand that I was asking her. So I'm now asking you, which is your favourite? Mm. The Walking Liberty. Is that because that's the only one you can remember the name of? <laughs> no. No, okay. I like that one. Good. Because it, you said it's the most rare. Well, it's not necessarily the most rare. Barber half dollars are really rare. We did find, I still got it on the table here, a barber uh, dime from, uh, well, in last week's bag. So I'm kind of secretly hoping that there's going to be a barber quarter or a barber half in this bag. I'd be amazed if there is, though. But um, yeah, the, the Walking Liberties are kind of, I guess, the, the ones which will garner the most potential return in this kind of bag of goodies, basically. So shall we, let's put all of our fun ones in the tubes and then we can see which coin type is winning the race. And it's got an animal on the other side. The eagle, yes. Well, I think, haven't they all got eagles on the other side? No, no the Benji's, Benji's got, Benji's got, got the, the Liberty Bell, hasn't it? And the other one's, well it has well, got, it's got an, an eagle, eagle, but not in the same way. This one's like an eagle ready to fly. Yes, I, I prefer the eagle of the Walking Liberty half dollar. So anyway, so we've got four Benji's to go in that tube today. Six, in fact, because you've got two as well. I think the Benjis are winning. Well, hang on. I've got one of these to put in. And then you've got a couple of those to put in as well. So I've got one walker. Oh, look, you found some Standing Liberty half uh, quarter dollars as well. Those are very cool. But my standout coin, I think, of all of the ones that we've found in these batches so far are the Mercury Dimes. I'm in love with them. They're really, really cool and a great. This is a fantastic way of being able to collect really good uh, low fractional silver because it's not very easy to get fractional silver. It's always very expensive. So to have these Wait, is really what? good. Oh, those were the Mercuries, so that's all right. And those are the Standing Liberty Quarters, which you can put in that tube there. So uh, really happy with that. It's been a very cool day. We've got all of these quarters. I mean, we can just put, I'm gonna put all of these dimes in here. These are all just the, the regular dimes that don't really have a great deal. I wanna say again, another thank you to everybody for all of your comments in last week's video. 
about these uh, these coins and thank you for the heads up on some of the rarer varieties there's so many to kind of consider and look through um, we've got all of these quarters here to have a look through uh, for different mint marks if anybody's got a sort of one-stop shop to look for all of the rare varieties or we've got a list of every single kind of rare variety to look for that'd be very helpful and a couple of you have mentioned some of the kind of key dates and key mint marks uh, but if we could have any help that you guys can give us would be very cool indeed because uh, we've got so now the task after this video is finished is that we are going to organize all of the quarters into these boxes here and these are the year date boxes we've got the, the 64s here because they're the most common by a long way and then 63 62 etc all the way down to the 50s and then i've got a box here for all of the 40s because i haven't got another one of these nine compartment boxes yet but we do have as well another box which these are the ones where people have told us there are cool mint marks to look out for on the quarter dollars uh, and there's this one i love this one here a 1942 really shiny quarter but anyway what we're going to do is we're going to sort all of these out have a look through all of the years etc etc on off camera and then next time you join us for a coin hunting video with mrs backyard bullion we'll give you an overview of what we found throughout the first five bag or first five handfuls first five kilos of this whole batch and we'll see how we're getting on basically how does that sound Super. Sounds super. And Mrs. Backyard Bullion was falling asleep there a second ago. And I do apologise. I wasn't falling asleep. Well, I, I to be honest, I was. intensely listening to you. You were intensely listening. I mean, I was half falling asleep talking about it, so there we go. Thank you, one and all, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed us looking through these coins and rambling on about them as we have done for these last five weeks. Seems to be a popular series. I have a feeling that's because of Mrs. Backyard Bullion sat across the table from me. So a massive thank you to her for helping. And in, uh, what's the word? Uh, they like my organisational skills. They do skills. like your organisational skills. Uh, but Unlike I, your pile. My Yeah, my, my pile is just a mess, isn't it? And you hate when no! I do this. No! But Why did you do that? You said you wouldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> but it's quite funny. Anyway, no, look. No, it's not. <laughs> well, I'm very sorry. Look, it's fun though because you like putting you like doing the things in putting them in piles. So I'm just creating more fun for you. Are you protecting your coins now? Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. We could sit here and ramble on for days, I have no doubt. And if you want to hear more ramblings from us in the future, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like if you enjoyed this video and make sure you share it around on your social media. Thank you one and all for watching. We hope you have a brilliant weekend. That's a very tactical yawn without sound. <laughs> Put me off. You need to shut that mouth before a bus comes along. So you might swallow it. No? Okay. Anyway, look, we are rambling now. So thank you one and all for watching. Have a great weekend. And as always, make sure that you like, share, comment and subscribe for more. Bye-bye.